All right, Andy Q writes, Mark, I stole your backpack. No, I'm totally kidding. <laughs> Hero. Oh, man. Hero, what are some awkward movie theater experiences that you've had? Oh, wow. man. I've, I, I've got too many to name. I'll, I'll list off two of them right off the bat. Okay. Um, my big thing is when people come into a theater and they're talking while the movie is on. Oh, yeah. Like, they, they've just literally snuck in. And I was seeing The Witch just this, this mm. past weekend with Holly. It's the middle of the movie. If you know The Witch, it's not a lot of music. It's not a lot of incidental sound effects. Mm -hmm. It's, in fact, very quiet. Yeah. And you're like, it's very, it's very tonal and builds up this tension. And then I had like four people, ah, like laughing oh. and yelling, <laughs> walking down the hallway. And I instantly, normally, I don't, I'm not as proactive, but nowadays I just got up and met them at the, right as they're coming into the theater. I was like, hey, what's up, man? Why are you, you know, we're watching a movie? <laughs> Why are you coming and sneaking in? Where are your tickets? They were like, oh, I was like, yeah, that's right. Shut up. <laughs> wow. And they were like, we're sorry. And they didn't say anything. And I felt really good about it because none of the other people in the theater, it was a pretty packed house. We're all trying to enjoy the film. I'm going to be the silencer. I, I've had to do that <laughs> with kids when they're at an R-rated film. I'm like, hey, how'd you get in here? Where's the, where's the parent? And because they were yelling, I'll just walk right up and get in their face. Like, where are your parents? Uh, uh, that's right, son. Shut up. Wow. We're all trying to watch this movie. Charles Bronson, ladies and gentlemen. Right? No, because it's so disrespectful, and people who don't have the respect, I'm not in your, I'm not in your living room. All of the people in this theater paid money to see this film. Have some respect. If it's a comedy, laugh. If it's a horror film, scream. Otherwise, shut up. You know, Roku, like, you can intimidate be. some fools. Have you ever had to do so in a movie theater? Yes. Um, I had ins. ins I, I don't do what John does. Uh, I don't actually facially confront them because then. You know, I'll go to jail. Uh, what? Because because I don't do the whole like. Okay, are we cool. I go. Like, get the so what happened was, uh, um, I went to see a movie on a date. I went to see that Tower Heist movie. Oh, Terrible right. Tower Heist movie. So I went to go see that on a date. I'm. It's a second date. Uh, this girl I kind of liked at the time, and so we were exploring with it. So I sat next to this. Oh, this pregnant woman comes in with her husband, and I'm sitting next to them now. It's when you have the railing in front of you, you can put your feet up or stuff. So apparently, and I did not know this, apparently my leg, because it was up, was pushing against the uh, armrest. I had no idea this was happening. So um, like 30 minutes in the film, 40 minutes in the film, they switch seats. So I'm just like watching and I'm like, oh, that's odd, they switch seats. So I put my arm down and apparently my arm crossed over what he what the husband thought was the halfway point of the armrest, and he cocked his arm back and yet, like, elbowed me right in the arm. Whoa! Yikes. Now, you all have had experiences with me. The, in that moment, I'm like, I'm gonna toss him 40 rows in, onto his head and break, he like, but I was like, what? I'm on a date, so I can't do that. Oh, it's so like I Clark was... Cannon, that bar in Superman yeah. too. You can't right. show your power. That's You're not taking your glasses off That's yet, right. Roka. You're Damn like, it. hang on a second. Uh. So I was like, what the fuck? Really loud uh, in the theater. <laughs> and then we got into it because he's like, you've been pushing these against my pregnant wife. And I'm like, she hasn't wow. said anything. She can use her words. Ma'am, were you feeling this way? And she wouldn't say anything. Oh, and I was no. like, why did you hit? You basically assaulted me here in the movie theater. And people around us like, we're loud as shit while the movie's going the on. The people right? are like, this is so much better than Tower <laughs> yeah, Heist. Tower Heist. Uh, going. Uh, and meanwhile, uh, the girl uh, I'm on a date's uh, like this. She's like, John, John, John. <laughs> and I'm just like, no, no, no. He hit me. He's a, And so uh, eventually they get up and they leave uh, because the wife goes, well, yes, you were pressing. And I go, well, why didn't you say anything? Do you know you can use your words and say, hey, you're pressing against me. You're pregnant. I would have understood and absolutely moved my leg over, but you didn't say anything. You, you sent your husband who then assaulted me. So then they go out and they go and tell the manager. The manager comes in and goes, so I understand that you hit somebody. And I was like, what the Yay. fuck is going on oh. here? So he said, just don't have any other problems. Just sit and watch the movie. I'm, I'm happy to watch the movie. And then they never came back. But so how did they, so they end up yeah, that night? <laughs> well, we didn't keep going after that uh, night. So uh, right. once you see the rage, not a lot of people can handle Red Line Roca. So uh, pregnant couple yeah, ruined I mean, your like, date. <laughs> yeah, basically. So that, that's why I think our point is never have kids. Uh, I have. Uh, I've never had that experience in a movie theater where it was like a full on like fist fight or anything like that or like a bunch of shoving. But I have unleashed furious hell with people to the point where just all the horsemen of the apocalypse just come riding into them. So now I'm just more like a ninja in the theaters because I know it's in there somewhere and I don't want it to come out ever again. So it's like the Hulk. I just come home and I write days without an incident, like 118 or whatever. So now I'm just more like a ninja to where if I sit down, and you can ask Christian about this too, we see a lot of movies together. I let him know before the movie starts. I'm like, dude, I'm just sitting around people. I'm a flight risk. And what that means is that I will leave. I will get up and I will just walk around to go sit somewhere else. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm quick. Absolutely. 
Absolutely. You'll never see me coming until it's too late. I'll come there and I'll sit in the corner and enjoy the movie. I just want silence. I just want you to shut up. Don't put your feet up. Don't do yep. any. Don't turn off your cell phone. Just please shut up. It's a movie theater. It's the last place we can get it done. Let me add Thank one you. other thing. Also, if you're in an empty movie theater, don't go sit next to the only person that's in it. <laughs> that's happened to me a couple times. Like I'm, I, went, I remember seeing the Punisher War Zone, and it's like literally me and an old lady. We're like, it was, no one went to see this film. I was like, I'm seeing this movie. It was a matinee or whatever. I'm in New York. I'm like checking this out, and some weird dude get comes into the theater and sits right next to me <laughs> in an empty theater. I'm like, and I just like, if you're him, I was like. Yeah. <laughs> I gave him the death eye, and he's like, oh, got up and like went. <laughs> To the other side. I didn't even have to say anything. I think I did say, "Are you kidding me?" That's the one thing I said. Oh, that's hilarious! Me? Yeah, I was like livid. Yeah. So. Oh, and right, so. don't, don't be a kick, weirdo when you go to the movies. And Just don't be normal. Kick, don't kick the back of chairs. Yeah. Don't kick the back of chairs. Yeah. Nothing that drives me and more chew insane. with your mouth closed. What are you, some kind of an point animal? Here is just don't go to the movies with us. Yeah, because honestly, we're a bunch of you guys are so yeah. friendly. We've got a lot of old things, a lot of lists. We just want our experience. Yeah. <laughs> Ashley, so it's not this birthday, but sometime you're going to have a birthday and you're going to be as crabby and as old. Yeah, that's right. I mean, I hope I never see a movie with you guys. Me and cuisines every Come on, you saw Transformers 4 with us and you liked it. I'm sure. I'm sure that you enjoyed with that too. <laughs> what's, right. uh, what's up next? Frankie writes, in which movie slash franchise would you like to play at least a little role or be in tr be a part of in general? Oh man, I mean, look, I am, I'm very Oof. upfront about the fact I never want to be in a Star Wars movie. They're my favorite movies of all time and I do not want to be the guy, I don't want to be the two <laughs> fighters against the Star Destroyer. Like, I don't want to be that guy and have everybody laugh at me for how I ruined a movie potentially. So don't let me be that guy. Uh, a Marvel movie, I think I could handle. A, you, know, you know who I want to be? I want to get killed by a great white shark. That's what I want to do. I want it, I want that to happen in real life. That's how I want to go out. And I want that to happen in a movie. So if there's a movie out there, I'll settle for that huge thing in Jurassic World. Like, I'll get killed by one of those. If I can get killed by a dinosaur or a great white shark, I'm happy to do it. I will settle for, like, a lion on the Serengeti, but I prefer to be mauled by either a dinosaur or a great white shark. Mark, you were already in Force Awakens I was in the Conja say, Club. <laughs> yeah, the right, guys? Club, it was you. you can't, you're not going to be did, able to escape that one so easily. How did you do that accent? Like, how, yeah, how, how did you, you study like, that Han Solo. I I'm part of the Conja Club, wasn't Look, it like that? You guys should know, I was close. too busy shooting this season of Walking Dead to be performing <laughs> That's right. in The Force Awakens. Hey, I, you know, I'll be in any anybody's movie. I'm a slut. So you want me to get my <laughs> head we go. cut off, shoot <laughs> me in the face, go. throw me off a bridge, whatever. I've done a bunch of cameos for director friends of mine, and that's always a fun thing. I'm not really, I used to act. I'm not into pushing myself as an actor anymore, but it's, it's a fun thing. Acting is really fun. If you get a chance to do it, I, any chance I get to do it, I'm like, yeah, I'm on set. What time did you say? Four in the morning? I'm there, son. What? Am I wearing a weird, crazy rubber monster outfit? Done. Hopefully, I'm a Klingon soon. I was I'll be already a, wearing it. I know. I was, I'm ready to be a Klingon. Let's do it. So, Roka? Transformers. I would love to be in one of those terrible Transformers movies just to yell something stupid as a Transformers going on top of me or coming oh, around awesome. me. Because I love, I love the Stanley Tucci, John Voight, these weird, very established actors end up in these films. Seeing Laura Linney in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movies is still blowing my damn mind when I see that. So I would love to be part of something ridiculous like that just to get a chance to say some crazy lines and have fun saying them. That's hilarious. Now, having said all the stuff that I just said this weekend I am actually beginning shooting my scenes on a movie it's an independent feature called the players and uh, very excited about it you can contribute to their campaign on my Twitter page Ashley let's do one more question. are you gonna be a player in a movie uh, like a player yeah. for real I'm, I'm, in a, I'm not gonna be a player in a movie no I'm no. gonna be in the film as definitely not a player. Oh, okay, that's, that's good. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, Damn. Ryan Howe writes. Right. She cast an aspersion. <laughs> no, a little side She has not there. met your girlfriend. <laughs> that right. woman is good. He, Brian Howe writes, <laughs> which non-comedic actor has the best comedic timing slash chops? Which non-comedic actor? So it's somebody that hasn't come from like an improv sketch or a stand-up background, or we just don't primarily know them for that. I mean, look, there's ones that have started out in comedy, and then you kind of forget that they have this great comic background. Mm -hmm. The one that comes to mind, the two that come to mind are Michael Keaton and Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks for right. me, is that they you forget what a comic force they used to be, and they still have that somewhere inside them. Right. So those are the two guys that I would go with. Uh, you know who actually really impressed me, and it was it was at the Oscars, and it was you know so overshadowed by all the other cool stuff that happened at the Oscars that. That night when Ryan Gosling and Russell Crowe oh, yeah. came on to present an award and it's you know they're paired together because they're promoting the nice guys which comes out this summer 
that movie sold itself a lot. It really yeah. did. It adjudicated itself very nicely with their chemistry because I don't consider Russell Crowe or Ryan Gosling to be comedic actors. They were hysterical that night. They were really funny in the trailer, and I can't wait to see what Shane Black does with those well, two. Well, that's gentlemen. got that whole flavor of kiss, kiss, bang, bang. The mm -hmm. two, you know. So I, yeah, I'm really excited about the nice guys. I'll say Matt Damon because not only did his comedy The oh. Martian win uh, for best comedy <laughs> in Golden Globes, but that man is funny, He's cutting cracks and jokes and stuff. I never knew he had that kind of comedic timing until. I saw that amazing comedy called The Martian. You're going to have to let that go. Nope. Roka? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's brilliant. Um, I, I know this is a movie talk, but I kind of have to say Andre Brower. If you aren't watching how funny he is on Brooklyn Nine-Nine, mm. I don't know what to tell you. That guy was homicide for years, and that guy has always played these dramatic actors. To see him play a gay captain of a police precinct and have these have go to toe with uh, with Jake Peralta, who's Andy Samberg. It's fantastic. So I would love to see him do that in the movies. And I give I think Denzel deserves a shot at a comedy. Denzel has little quiet comedy yeah. moments in every film he does. He has these little lighthearted moments, even in the most violent films. Right. He has these lighthearted moments, and those are the, that shows you that he has an instinct for it. So I'd love to see Denzel. Yeah, he in made a comedy. me laugh in Training Day. Yeah, uh, I'm serious. There no, he does. He has little, 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 little side comments. Oh, yeah. yeah, like Ashley. Equal. Ashley has those little side comments. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley doesn't have side comments. She will go right at you full frontal with yeah, a lot of well. language. No.